Hello. 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 This is Odin. I'm Katie. Um, we have been asked a lot uh, how we check Odin's hearing every day um, with his cochlears on. And so what we do is a daily listening check. And the reason we do that is to check and see what speech sounds he's responding to and if he's responding to them consistently. Uh oh because if he's missing any of the speech sounds, that means he's not hearing full words. And so we might need to go into the audiologist for another map. And this is also something you can do for a child with typical hearing, if you have any concerns about them not responding to you. Um, or if your child has hearing aids, um, you can do them uh -oh. with and without to see what kinds of sounds they're responding uh -oh. to. So uh -oh. that you can give a better picture um, of what they're responding to in their, their natural environment uh -oh. to your audiologist. Um, so the sounds are ah, uh, oo, e, m, sh, and s. And the reason that you're doing this is you're going across the speech banana. So if you've ever seen a chart uh -oh. of what... Um, speech sounds look like there's a speech uh, banana that goes from low frequency to high frequency so each of these sounds is a sampling um from various degrees sound. of <laughs> sound. um frequency across sound. the chart sound sound that's right and so whenever you do sound. them <laughs> we do them every day and sound. you want to be within sound sound that's right. boom, boom. <laughs> you want to be within three feet, at least at first, until you can consistently see what kinds of sounds they're responding to. And it needs to be at conversational level in a quiet environment. So you want to make sure that you turn off fans, the dishwasher, the clothes washer or dryer. You don't want TV or music in the background. There's the fan. That's right. That's the fan. It's not hot. The fan is off. Um, but you want a quiet environment and you want to say them at normal conversational level. Tua, tua. We're going to turn it on later. Um, so you would just say, ah, uh, ooh, e, mm, sh, s. And what you want to do is do them individually. And pause. I like to give Odin about 10 seconds in between each one because babies don't respond quite as fast as we do. Um, they're kind of processing it. If if they're hearing it, it might take. That's right. Shh. Um, mm. Mm, very good listening. Um, they take some time to process it. So mm. if you do them, bam, 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 right, one right after another, they may mm. not have. Mm, they may not have enough time to respond to it. Wait. Sing. 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 Hmm. Yeah. Um, so you want to give them time to respond in between each one. Acting. And what kinds of things are you looking for whenever you're doing these? Um, so obviously the the main thing that everyone thinks is that they're, they're going to turn and look toward the sound. But that's, especially in younger babies, that's not always the response you get. You want to look for a change in behavior is the biggest thing. So if they're moving and, and squirming around, you're going to watch for them to get still because they heard something. And they'll just kind of pause. You'll look for eye movements. Maybe they might eye, raise their eyebrows. Or if they are very still, they might get excited and start moving, kicking their legs or moving their arms. Um, so the main thing you're looking for is a change in their behavior. Um, and as they get older, that's when they might start to turn towards the sound. But that's not always the case. So you're, you're looking for more than just turning to the sound. Um, and again, do these every day um, just to see what kinds of sounds they respond to. And you can have a little journal. You can, have a, 
<laughs> how? So how? How they respond to sounds. How? Yes. And you can also, after you do start to do this consistently, <laughs> you can start to change it up a little bit. You can add a little bit of a musical. How? As how. You can add a little bit of a musical tone how? to it. So for like, ah, you can go, ah, how? ah, Can you do it? No. Ah, 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 ah. That's right. And see if they respond to that. So if they're not responding to the short little conversational level one, you can do the, the sing-song version. Or you can pulse it to see if that grabs their attention. Um, but I would note that down too. Yeah. And I'll put a description below so that if um, any of this material was too distracting with, with Odin talking. <laughs> Um, you can get the full understanding below. But thanks for watching. We'll see y'all later. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Blow a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mwah.